Hi guys, welcome to Nate's Art Lab August challenge video and it is to make a sunflower. Sorry for the holding up the phone selfie intro here. It's um it's Thursday night before the Saturday premieres and I need to get finished and edited and submitted. So I've just been a little crazy. I started a new job this week so I haven't had a lot of extra time. Um, and so that's that. So my piece is going to be, first I took um, a 10 by 10 deep edge canvas and I did a flip cup in blue, shades of blue to make like sort of a sky background. And you'll see that. And then you'll see um, the sunflower part, which in the video, you'll hear me probably say more than once, what was I calling it? A dandelion. <laughs> I was painting about 11 o'clock at night. My brain wasn't working. So anyway, the sunflower is going to be a swipe. And since I had done the flip cup and let the canvas dry, I put some uh, transparent base on it to help the swipe along. I'm not sure... How I think I needed to do that and I'm not sure if I liked it because it created cells where I didn't really want them but I figured it out I made it happen it wasn't um, my most favorite ever but I'm pretty happy with what I got um, at least for a challenge and that's what these challenges are for to stretch myself and try something new so Without further ado, here's my video and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for being here. Come back and paint with me again. We're gonna fill this cup and we're gonna do a little flip cup. So, put a bunch of white. shades of blue so I'm using a pouring medium of 50% Floetrol 50% Liquitex pouring medium a little bit of GAC and paint uh, one part paint to two up to two and a half parts of pouring medium and some GAC water as needed. Let's give this a tilt and then we'll be good. We'll be done for this evening and we'll come back tomorrow for part two. What I'm going to do is start with the center of the sunflower and I'm just going to use this um, lid of a mason jar to kind of start the, the center and I'm really just going to gently hold it and just very lightly just make a bit of an outline and we're going to do hopefully a little textured situation inside the center but for now I just kind of wanted to get a base to go to start with for my center um Okay, so the dandy, uh, okay, I keep calling it a dandelion. So, brain, come on, work with me here. The sunflower colors that I'm going to use for this swipe are going to be a, a few combinations. So my center is a combination of Amsterdam, light gold and Van Dyke brown and then my petals are going to be some primary yellow by golden and then some Amsterdam Naples yellow deep combined with a little bit of yellow red, Naples yellow red, okay? And so that is making sort of an orangey yellow shade. And then we have, of course, 
the primary yellow is very lemony yellow. So very sunshiny. And then my center mixed, the two colors mixed together makes sort of a brownie gold. Okay, this is, you know, a dry canvas with some paint on it. So I'm just not sure how well it will move without the transparent base, which is mostly Floetrol, a little bit of Liquitex pouring medium and a bit uh, about the same or a little more of, of water. It's like 70%, I think it's like 70% Floetrol and then the rest is pouring medium and water. So I'm going to start by pouring some of this in. It's very late, so I'm definitely going to keep sort of mis making mistakes with my, my words here this evening. I'm going to keep calling it, probably going to keep <laughs> calling it a dandelion and um, I'm probably going to say other silly things because it's very late. I've actually worked all day and then I went and sort of worked again for a few hours helping uh, out my previous job. And I'm going to just put the transparent base around here. Spread it a little a popsicle stick. This is really just so I can get the uh, colors to move across this dry canvas paint. Paint is, you know, swiping consistency. It is, you know, it pours off the stick pretty quickly. It leaves a little mound and it falls in.
because I'm exhausted and it's partially because this was a little intense and I know that it does not look that great right now however I'm happy with the leaves the petals for now and I have a plan for the center so I think I'm actually gonna let it dry and then come back and kind of define the center a little bit using the textured paint that I had prepared. How this is coming out I like my little my little seeds and my little center what I want to do is lighten the main part of the center and it it's it needs a little touch-ups anyway so I'm gonna actually just take a little um, brush and just brush a little bit of gold in here and actually This is semi-transparent, this little, this light gold. So I'm gonna just sort of very, very sparingly brush it on here, um, on top of the brown that was already there, so that it more or less, you know, shows through. And so it really just sort of 
tints it a bit rather than just covering over it. Just lightens it up a little bit. Just do that. And then we'll get going on, continuing on with our little textured seeds. All right, that's good. Okay, so now I'm gonna carry on with some seeds, some more seeds. It's one of my biggest problems with making videos is I paint slow. <laughs> so I either have to make these epically long videos or I have to cut out or speed up. Just, I'm just a slow painter. Okay, I think I am going to do something new, which is no one to stop. I think that's it. Okay, folks, here it is. It's the final, final cut. Looks so cool with the, with the raised seeds. I've been wanting to play around with this textured paint for a while. So this was like a nice small, small um chance to try it out i hope you like it thanks for being here come back and paint with me again uh -huh.